we uh, can't test this fact because we've only just heard it. So we've got a panel of genuine scientists to do the hard work for us. So please welcome rocket scientist Dr Simon Foster, expert in cell biology and genetics Dr Emily Grossman and chemical engineer David Walton. It's our verifiers! <laughs> OK, so well, well, let's uh, see what our verifiers think. I actually hope this... I hope it's true. I really do. Is, what do we think, verifiers? Well, amazingly, it's absolutely true. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> is it true? It is true. Um, the call sounds of domestic animals have always been thought to be totally genetic. But there are farmers who, in Somerset, who've been claiming for years that their cows moo with a sort of West Country drawl to their <laughs> moo. <laughs> But the stu a study was done a little while ago on goats where they actually took baby goats and they found that brother and sister goats, when they were babies, to be expected, they were sort of bleating similar to each other. But as soon as they were old enough to go out and form social groups and, and make friends, then they started bleating more like their mates and less like their brothers and sisters. So they were basically picking up or learning an accent. Kind of the same way as human kids do when they go to school and they start mm. speaking like their mates and not like their mums and dads. But what's clear is that these animals are actually learning in some kind of social way far more than we thought they'd be able to. OK, now we're going to score this at the end once we've heard everyone's fact. 